And what I like to do is take us into the pathway of the heart to the heart of creation. I've done it before, but I really haven't um, spent a lot of deep time on it um, because, you know, this is usually people are here just looking for readings, not so much for healing. But I think that the whole world needs healing. I don't think it's just like one person here or there. I think it's an overall thing. If for no other other reason than to have a better um, insight, better discernment, a better understanding, to live in their hearts, um, and not so much in the mind, because that's tempting to do right. So um, I want to really go into that. So the pathway uh, to the heart of creation is the foundation um, that I use as a sacred soul alignment practitioner. And um, when we follow the pathway to the heart of creation, there are several things that happen. One, we're engaging our heart, uh, where, which is where everything begins. And by engaging the heart this way, we're bringing our awareness to the heart deepening our breath, we're activating the 40,000 neurons in our heart, and we're activating our heart brain. And there is an alignment uh, called the heart brain alignment, which is amazing because our heart and our brain are it, intrinsically um, connected, they are. So we're entering into the theta brain state when we do the heart of creation which is the most optimal state for healing and re rewiring the subconscious mind. Um, because really, it, it comes down to rewiring your subconscious mind. Our minds are thinking one way or believing one thing. So we're helping to um, get that mind to its optimal state, okay? So when we activate compassion or gratitude, when we breathe in the pink light of compassion, I always say the pink light of love, but the pink light of compassion surrounding us, we enter the divine matrix and potentially enter a recently discovered gamma brainwave state, which is referred to as the unifying brain wave state or unity consciousness. So there's a unity consciousness. In this state, we achieve super cognitive enhancement, a calm state of mind, accessing our deepest intuition, which is very important to me as a healer. I can tell you um, personally, I am always telling something personal, but I, I had to um, separate myself from several people that I care about a, a great deal. Um, I really thought I was going to date this one guy, but I feel like it was disruptive to my, um, to my state of mind, to my state of mind. Um, and when I accessed my deepest intuition, it told me that, that I should separate myself from that. It didn't feel right. So when we connect to creator, God, source, um, and doing healing work, we're entering into a sacred triangle, a trinity, um, where we're engaging our own creator self your own I am presence and the creator self of the person that I'm facilitating or you guys, right? So this can, um, and by engaging the universal creator, God consciousness, sending healing from the creator or sender to the creator receiver, you guys, um, and engaging universal God consciousness, we are co-creating a healing. That's how we do it. It's, it's our consciousness together. We create that. It's like an energy that um, gets created. 
So when we activate this sacred triangle of Trinity, we're accessing the quantum field where all information is sitting. And this is really where the healing is co-created. So um, when we connect to the heart of Gaia, we're connecting to the fifth dimensional or ascendant earth and drawing or anchoring um, the healing into the physical reality. So I'm gonna take us into the heart of creation. But I just wanted to, exp uh, you know, express that. Um, I'm also, there's been some changes to this, but I, I'm doing the original um, because I think I, have, I haven't quite, uh, I think I downloaded the new one yet. So before I do that, I'm just gonna just hit the bell a little bit here. So we're going to be breathing on five. That is uh, breathe in or yeah, breathe in on five and then breathe out on five. So it'll be five, four, three, two, one. Now exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Now take a deep breath and close your eyes, sending yourself in your heart, taking a moment to call back all awareness of all parts and aspects of you. Begin to breathe slowly and deeply in and out of your heart, imagining that you can breathe from your heart. Now imagine that all around you are particles of light, sparks of light. These may be golden light or white light. This light is pure source energy. This is a part of who you are. Allow these particles of light to begin to merge into your body filling your heart and filling your every cell and molecule of your body, breathing this light into your body, gathering this source energy into the center of your heart, forming a beautiful ball of light. Now imagine that from the center, the light in the center of your heart, is a golden cord. Send this cord down from your heart into the earth, going through all the layers of the earth until you come to the crystalline core of Gaia, where you will see, feel, or imagine a warm golden light. This is the heart chakra of Gaia. Connect your golden cord into the heart of Gaia, feeling your heart to heart connection between your heart and the heart of Gaia and begin to draw the unconditional love and support there back up through your cord into your heart, your earth star chakra, about 12 inches below your feet into your feet, up your legs, into your root chakra, your sacral, solar plexus, into your heart, seeing your heart expand, send a beam of light up from your heart, pulling that golden light from Gaia up with you as you travel your high heart, through your, uh, to your throat, your thro third eye, your crown, 
up into your soul star chakra about 12 inches above your head sending your beam of light up 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 and connecting in with your higher self calling forward your i am presence your divine creator self connecting this beam of light from your heart into the heart of your higher self send your beam of light up 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 all the way up past the universe past the multiverse out as far as you can travel until you reach a beautiful iridescent light of the heart of creation. This is the energy of all that is. This is pure creation energy. Connect your beam of light into the heart of creation. Anchor it in there and allow yourself to soak in that pure energy of all that is. Feeling the heart to heart connection between your heart and the heart of creator. Now begin to pull that iridescent light down your beam of light into your soul star, into your crown chakra, into your third eye, your throat, your heart, seeing your heart expand, allowing this beautiful iridescent light flow into your heart merging with the golden light from Gaia and the pink light of love from your own heart, creating a beautiful iridescent rose gold light, allowing this light to fill every cell of your body, expanding this light out beyond your physical body, going out 12 feet in all directions, forming a beautiful ball of iridescent rose gold light that you are in the center of. Now witnessing a space in the earth opening up for this ball of light with you inside to drop down, dropping all the way into the heart of Gaia. Anchor yourself in there feeling the heart-to-heart -heart connection between your heart and the heart of Gaia and your heart and the heart of Creator. Now take a deep breath. And center yourself in the most sacred space of your heart. anchoring us all in, in the fifth dimensional grid system. So how do you feel, you guys? How did that feel? Hope that came out good and that it grounded you the way it felt like it grounded me. I feel infinitely better. <laughs> Abundance of the ocean alignment. Universal energy is available to everyone of us at all times. And because abundance, like all things, is a form of energy, we can connect into abundance as deep and vast as the ocean anytime we want. This alignment will allow you to tap into your abundance that is vast and as deep as the ocean. Channel it into your life. This alignment brings in the knowledge and energy that you need to bring abundance and will connect you into the unlimited abundance of the planet. So run all of this using the sacred amulet nine now in divine love and light, run a secret light, belief, healing, creator, change it.
I am going to move on to the sign of Scorpio. Scorpio. And Scorpio, oh my gosh, isn't it Scorpio? I said it's got Mercury retrograde and Scorpio. Yes. We've got Mercury retrograde and Scorpio. And right now, we got the moon conjunct that retrograding Mercury. The moon's at 14 degrees. It's right inside of my uh, my midheaven. The moon is sitting right up on my midheaven, opposing my own natal moon. My natal moon is at 17 degrees of Taurus. This conjunct my uh, Neptune on my midheaven. So let's see what Divine Spirit wants to tell Taurus. So Divine Spirit, show me clearly Taurus, but Scorpio. So Scorpios might be dealing with a Taurus, really. What are we sharing with the sign of Scorpio? Show me clearly. What are we sharing with Scorpio? Whoa. Yo, wow. Uh-oh. Hey, Scorpio. Let's see. What are we sharing with Scorpio? What are we sharing with Scorpio? Scorpio! Scorpio! I don't know why I had to make a song. Oh, it's Scorpio. Okay. What's this? Yes. Wow, I've seen that twice already now. Let me make sure. I want to make sure it's definitive. Tell me. Make sure I know. That was my oh, you really let me. Oh, that was amazing. Okay, what else? Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, Scorpio. I'm gonna take these right here too. I don't know why they came out of my hand, but they did, and therefore I'm gonna use them. So, Scorpio, what do you think? Some of you Scorpios are really. Um, having a lot of influence right now because, well, you know, the sun's about to go into Scorpio. <coughs> we got Mercury retrograding in Scorpio. We got the moon in Scorpio today. So, uh, Scorpio, you got a lot of influence. And I really think that because of that influence, you know, share whatever it is, whatever you're doing. This is the give to get card. So, it's, it's the situation where you might have, or you might just do it because you want you to help others um, in some way. It could be in business, it could be in your private life or your community. I could just see that some Scorpios are helping out, looks like with money, perhaps. Here's the uh, 10 of staffs. I will say this, um, Scorpio, if you're somebody who's been really worried, like, ah, oh, I've been trying so hard and I'm not getting anywhere. I haven't gotten what, what I want, you know, because I've been working hard, but not, not getting my results. Well, the secret to you getting your results will be to give to get. And like, say for instance, if you're online, give away free fees. It'll help with your hard work, I'm serious. Also, if this is about working online, Scorpio, I see here that you're learning a new skill and you might have to go off to learn more skills in order to build up those coins. But you're going to learn this new skill, this new thing that I think is going to help you build your coins, new work related things, like you're learning a new skill. And look at this, three of staffs. This is always to me, it shows, I always think of it as courage, but it's a courage to face the future. Get that sun out in the, the horizon, that boat sailing off. Like, this is your courage to go forward. Like, I shall go forward. I will not go quietly into the night. I will survive. For today is my independence day. <laughs> yeah, that. So you might be really feeling that all up in your feelings about this. Like, today I'm, I'm learning my new skill so I can be the, in, independent. I don't have to work hard. I'm tired of work, all this hard work. I want to be independent. And I know that you might really be going off into the sunset because, look, you got the sun. I got to do it, you guys. You know what I do when I see the sun, right? You win, Scorpio! You win! This is the 
I win card. You win, Scorpio. You win. I love it. And what I love about it is that this is your justice. The win. Like the scales have been weighed, your karma has been weighed, and we've decided you win. <laughs> This might have something to do with money. You might be waiting to get a message about money. You might be making decisions about money. That is, if this is a communication about money. So, and it might just be making decisions uh, pertaining to you and maybe a, a earth sign, maybe. But look, here comes uh, the Hierophant, here's the Taurus. <laughs> you be dealing with a Taurus, Scorp Scorpio is uh, opposite is Taurus. So you could be dealing with a Taurus, look at that. Hierophant. This could be commitment in relationships, taking, you know, moving in together, making a family together, making a commitment together, doing the traditional thing. That could be it. Uh, and again, it could be more learning. Look at that. It's learning. And next was uh, the Queen of Cups. So this is your emotional queen. This is you, Scorpio. Showed up in your own reading, female. You're a female, Scorpio. Here you go. You showed up in your own reading. And I love the Queen of Cups. First of all, she's my favorite queen. She is. Because she got, she, she, look, she got her, her, her money. She got a throne. She got Patron in her cup. Got her little bird and fishes. She got everything she needs. She's good. Look. And it ended on pure victory. You win. I'm serious. I don't know what the heck you're up to, Scorpio, but you win. Okay? You win it. <laughs> you win it! At least for the next couple of weeks, you winning. Now, there was a couple of other cards that came out, and I always like to, you know, look at deeper. Now, the first was Queen of Coins. So, Scorpio, so again, some Scorps might be dealing with, like, a Taurus, a Capricorn, a Virgo, Queen of Coins. It just could have to deal with the fact that this is all about money, like you learning how to be successful with money could be making decisions and it could be about loyalty um but you feel like you have choices and you've got to make decisions about what direction to go in and uh, this might be bothering you mentally because it's the two of swords swords is always in the mind look here's that eight of swords again this eight of swords is always telling me someone feels like they're bound but look here's nothing on his hands you can get the heck up out of there and go at any time you're not bound not at all Put an end to that mess. You can win. There's no need for you to be stuck in whatever mire you've been in. Because it's time for you to win. So I'm going to take these apart like I like to do. See if there's any message that uh, I might have overlooked. That happens. I sometimes miss things. And I see that there are a few things that we are going to talk about. So let's... Let's do that. So you got two twos and two threes. So I'm going to tell you what those are about. And you also got two queens. Amazing that you had these going on. I didn't even realize it. This is why I pull them apart. So let's go ahead and look at what that means. Because I really want you to understand the hidden messages that were here. Uh, there's three here. It looks like. The, um, so let's go to two first. You had two twos. Two twos are you will have partners in crime in different areas of your life. There may be infidelity in your romantic relationship, or you may be trying to please too many people in regards to your relationship. If you are single, you may be playing the field for a while. You may be involved in a significant business partnership or be faced with forming a new one. Wow. Wow, Scorpio. So let's go to three. Let's see what two threes are. So two threes. You will need to seek the support from a group of people. If you are in a relationship, seek the help of a counselor, priest, or therapist. If not, seek out friends, books, videos for support. In business, you will benefit from a course or group coaching program. Wow. Okay. So let's see what two queens uh, would mean. I'll tell you that. Two queens. So two queens. It means you will receive support from females 
who are close to you, Scorpio. Female friends and family members will help you with regards to your job. Your family and friends will give you good relationship advice or you will meet your partner through friends and family. Wow, that's a very special message. Again, you have the Ace of Swords in this, so I see some victory eventually. And let's look at your major arcana. I like to read them backwards. I feel like they tell a specific story. <clears throat> your story is pretty simple, okay? You win. You win, no doubt about it, you win. You're, you're winning, okay? There's no doubt about it. And uh, yeah, and, and what I love about the, this card, I call it the you win card, is that in any direction it goes, you win. The hands are going out in every direction. So no matter what direction, you win. It's beautiful. And this is your justice, Scorpio. This is your karma. This is your justice. You earned this. You might be dealing with a Taurus or it might have something to do with your marriage or traditional relationship you're in. But whatever is going on that's been bothering you, you're putting an end to it because you win. Okay? You win. So I'm going to pull this, the, you know, a few cards. Uh, the romance oracle cards on this just so I've been doing that tonight and I want to let you know what it says for that so let's see So, wow, <clears throat> three cards came out. Uh, finances and career was first that your financial issues are a factor in your love life. I can see how that would be affecting a lot of people during COVID. And then engagement, it could be affecting your ability to spend time together with your special someone, Scorpio. But well, whoever it is, that's your soulmate. So I hope you do find a way to spend time with your special someone, Scorpio, okay? So this has been my reading for you, Scorpio, for the rest of October. Um, if you haven't already done so, take a moment to like and share my videos, subscribe to the channel, and uh, make sure you hit that little bell so you know whenever I'm going live here. Uh, if you haven't already done so, go by the website, which is astrologyalookinside.com. That's astrologyalookinside.com and subscribe there. And then uh, follow us on Facebook at astrologyalookinside, facebook.com slash astrologyalookinside. And uh, also Instagram at instagram.com slash astrologyalookinside. Okay. okay. Much love and light to you. Many blessings.